Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and on this channel I like to share all things homeschool. If you are new, my name is Nicole. I have three girls. Um, I have a rising fifth grader, rising second grader, and a pre k -er who's four. Um, today I would love to share my homeschool curriculum picks for my rising second grader. So I am a super eclectic homeschooler. I love to mix and match. We tend to take about 12 months-ish to do our curriculum. Um, we go year-round when we can, and that way we can take um, field trips and um, days off when we need them. Um, we do a lot of field trips, and my girls also do two days of enrichment, which is crazy. I don't know how much longer I can keep that up, but they do do two days of enrichment as well. So it takes us a little bit longer to get through our chosen curriculum. So like I said, today I'm gonna to share my second graders homeschool curriculum picks. Um, I'm really excited. I think that this year is going to be really stellar. We had a couple changes in the middle of first grade. So we have a couple things that are moving along with us um, into second grade and we'll just move to the next level when um, she is done with the current level. And that's kind of just how I roll. I go one lesson at a time and just keep going until um, we need to move to the next. So let's start off with a bang. The first thing we are going to be doing is, I'm um, sorry, I have a box over here, is the first thing we are going to be doing is it's going to be the Zayner Bazer Spelling Connections, a word study approach to spelling for second grade. This curriculum is amazing. It comes with two um, books. It comes with an instructor guide with all kinds of information for the teacher and of course the answers and then it has the, um, sorry my dog's in the background running around, um, and then it has the workbook. My oldest daughter has been doing Xander Blazer spelling and we love it. It is amazing. It has the word study approach like I said. Let's see if I can find um, <clears throat> excuse me. So it is divided up into units. So for instance, this is unit seven. It will have the list of words. Then it will have phonics practice. And then it will have reading um, and writing with those words. And then it will have word study and then connections. And this is really been great for my oldest who does struggle with spelling um, and so I think it's going to work really well for my middle daughter as well. She has tried um, Spelling UC and the Becca Spelling and neither one really worked that great for her so I'm really excited to see if um, this is a better fit for her. Next kind of to go along with that spelling and stuff is I got this workbook. Um, she's going to think it's fun. It's called Daily Word Ladders and um, it will start with a word, so this one it says cow, and then it will say a small bed that can be folded and put away, change the last letter, and you change it to cot, and you work your way up. She will love this. She loves logic books, and she loves this kind of thing, and so this is just fun. It won't really be necessarily put on our schedule. It will just be something she can pull out when she needs to do some independent work or um, she wants to do it. Next and this will be my first year trying this specific curriculum, is geography, 180 days of geography with second grade. We have done even more geography um, every other year of homeschooling, and it's okay. I do like how it's colorful. This geography is black and white, but when I looked through it, I really liked this. It says that it is um, includes... Uh, the world in spatial terms, places and regions, physical systems, human systems, environment, society, and the use of geography. So I think this will be great. Um, I have realized that, you know, geography is a tough concept for our kiddos, and so I think that this is going to be a great um, addition to our homeschool, and I hope she likes it better than um, the one we used previously. For handwriting, we will be using um, the Good and the Beautiful Handwriting Level 2. It is still manuscript. She really likes it, and so that will be fun. Next, we will continue to work through easy grammar. This is kind of another one of those um, she does on her own. We just started doing it again on her own. It has um, just a sheet of work they do. They do like a capitalization, punctuation. There's a little bit of a lesson, and then there's a sentence um, that they fix. And 
this has worked really well for her. This is the teacher's edition. I didn't even realize I pulled that out. Um, but it has worked really well for her. Um, and it's something, again, sometimes I need work that she can do independently while I'm working with her sisters or while I'm doing other things. And it's something she can do, and it's worthwhile. Okay, so the meat and the potatoes of her curriculum, I'm kind of jumping around a little bit, is going to be a Becca. We are using a Becca level one right now for language arts. We are chugging along, we're getting close to halfway through, so this will definitely keep um, us busy until probably, I would say, around the Christmas holiday, maybe January. We love this. We've been doing everything. The only thing that I have removed from this and I have decided just doesn't work for her is the Abeka spelling. So we have stopped the Abeka spelling, um, but everything else is just stellar. It comes with all these readers. She does do their handwriting as well in manuscript, and um, she loves the readers, and she loves the lessons, and they're really clicking for her. I never thought I'd be somebody who would use a Becca, but here I am, and I love it, and it's working really well for her. The next thing we are using um, is a Becca Arithmetic one. Again, we are a little bit farther in this than within the language arts. Um, honestly, I think I could open up the arithmetic and have her do the, pretty much the last page and she'd be able to do it. But I want to make sure she has that conceptual understanding of math and really um, gets it and has adequate practice. I think she has some holes from some previous math curriculums that we have done. And so, um, yeah, so we're just working through it one one lesson at a time. Again, this will end around Christmas or January. She really likes it. Um, the workbook is fun, um, and we have these flashcards, and they're really great, and they help with the cons the concepts, and um, it's working really well for her. So we're going to keep chugging along with that as well. Some other um, things that we add in are Explode the Code. Again, just an independent take on the road or something she can do on her own. Um, a Becca is super teacher intensive for these younger years. I don't know how it is for older years, but for the younger years, it is super teacher intensive. So these things like Explode the Code and stuff like that are great to have as um, maybe road schooling or uh, take along schooling, or if mom's sick, you can do something a little bit, or if um, I'm busy with another sister, like I said, I can um, have her do that. We are also going to continue to do the journal prompts. I just grabbed the one that I had out. This is from Moffat Girls on Teacher Pay Teacher. They're adorable. She did some this previous year. They have little prompts, flowers have, and then it has stuff down here. It has stuff to remember, capital, finger space, sound out the words, punctuation, and then draw a picture. So these are really fun. She enjoys doing that. I think it's a great way to kind of introduce the writing um, to these young little little kids. Writing is such a complex um, topic and subject and it's hard to do. So I think something easy like that is great. I also am going to be doing um, reading comprehension. This is from Teacher Created Resources. We have used Evan Moore for years, and last year I switched my oldest to this brand, and she loves it. Part of the reason she loves it, it is all um, multiple choice questions. So they have a little passage to read, and then they circle the right answer. Now with this, for my second grader, if you notice, I have grade one. That is to give her an opportunity that if she can read it on her own, she can. If it is a passage that might be a little bit too hard, I will read it. Because the purpose of this workbook for us is reading comprehension. It's not necessarily being able to sound out the words. It's about listening and comprehending and answering questions afterwards. Um, I'm a huge believer in reading comprehension for kids. It's really helped my oldest and it's really helping this daughter as well. So this is um, something we will add in um, pretty much every day. And then I have a couple other reading resources. So like you saw, we um, do a Becca for our main um, language arts curriculum, but we have done the Good and the Beautiful in the past, and so my daughter loves pieces of the Good and the Beautiful, so we are going to do the Reading Booster C cards. Um, I'm sure you've seen these. They're all over the place, but it has little pages, and then they can add stickers once they complete the reading for it. She really likes these. They're sweet and cute. She also wanted the readers for the second grade level um, 
good and the beautiful so I got those Molly and Molly and the Falcon and Wesley and the Wolves these will be some extra readers that she can um, read to me and it will be really sweet we also do sunlight literature and so she will have all the sunlight second grade readers to read they are adorable this will be my second time going through these readers and I just love them first off is the Titanic lost and found step into reading book these are in no particular order by the way frog and toad all year frog and toad together frog and toad are friends now most of these books I either had or I got used that's one thing I love about sunlight Amelia Bedelia Greg's microscope I have sticky notes I label what book it is so that I know what order they go in. This is Pompeii Buried Alive, Nate the Great, Owl at Home, and last but not least, Mouse Tales. Oh, you know what? I forgot one. It is the beginning Beginner's Bible. Um, she will also be reading, but I think she had pulled that out to look at, so I don't have it in my pile. But those will be her readers that she will read throughout the school year, along with the Abeka and along with everything else. These sunlight readers are kind of just our snuggle time on the couch. We read together. Um, Abeka readers, we read during the lesson. So um, anyway, excuse me. I hope that this was an encouraging video, gave you some ideas, maybe some curriculum you hadn't thought of or hadn't thought of using the way I use it. Um, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe at the bottom. Stay tuned. I have family subjects coming out, fifth grade curriculum coming out, and our preschool curriculum coming out. Thanks for hanging with me. I hope you have a wonderful